All right, Final Fantasy II, let's do this. Check this out. I went and got my new friggin' Mithril swords, my Mithril spears, my not Mithril battle axes, my Mithril mace, Mithril shield. I got my Mithril car with my Mithril friggin' satchel, with my Mithril shield, with my Mithril bow, with my Mithril pants, with my Mithril underwear, with my Mithril Mithril cup holder, and my Mithril coffee mug, and my fucking I, I am dexed the shit out with Mithril. Mithril, Mithril, whatever. Alright, welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Let's go see what our next mission objective is from Fraulein Hilda. I'm going to talk to her from the side. Oh, they forced me to run up there. The dark pad is overseeing Dreadnought's construction. Fortunately for us, he's tending to other matters. The theft of the Mithril. We have to go to Bath. <laughs> I know about the dreadnought already. Okay. That's about the dreadnoughts. We have a man in Bastard. <laughs> I want you to destroy it. To the very least, find a way to delay its completion. I have full confidence that with you and Min Wu on this task, it will be accomplished. Um, what else? Um, should I ask her about the mithril? She doesn't know what the mithril is, even though she asked me to go get it. She doesn't know what an airship is, even though she knows what the dreadnought is. <sighs> this game. This lady doesn't seem like a very competent ruler. Anyway, so that's our mission. We have to go to Beth. <laughs> if the dreadnought is completed, it will unleash a horror of scale the world has yet oh has never known. Please, you must destroy it before it is allowed to happen. Stay a while with this. I'm gonna join the rebel army. No, you're not. Because the rebel army is not gonna exist once this game's over, son. All right. So we gotta go to Bath. Oh, check this out. Whoa! 88 miles per hour with the flux capacitor! Whoa! And three fourths of you just clicked off because of that. Anyway, so we gotta go to Bath. Yeah. And, oh yeah, check this out, my new mithril we oh well. My new mithril weapons kick ass and take names. Even, even Maria, who is... Oh, Whose melee attacks otherwise would suck are actually pretty good now that I have the mithril weapons. Okay, so if I remember correctly, because I did scout out ahead of time for this part. Oh god, I wish uh, I wish I remember how to use the fucking ring. Maybe maybe I can only use I don't know. Let's let's go inside a town so I can use the ring so I can find bastards. <laughs> the bastards. <laughs> Seriously, you have to have like seven accents to say that. Bath. B bath. You have to like make a fucking raspberry sound. How do I use the ring? Rage. Oh well, we're just gonna take this ship. Oh shit, I can't go that way. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to. We're gonna go to that little port town with the airship. Oh, more hornets. Gotta take those out with my new mithril. It sucks. The only mithril things that they don't have are mithril axes. Otherwise, I would um, set up guy with axes too. Yeah, sorry if uh, you don't like the fast forwarding, but I um, I just don't want to make this video boring and repetitive with the random encounter. So if I speed them up, we get to the cool stuff faster, and we get to more comedy faster. So we go this way. More goblins. Oh, oh yeah, uh, my friend Nick was watching one of the other parts with me earlier, and uh, I forgot to make a really obvious joke about the, the new enemies. Um, oh look, it's the Green Goblin! Ha ha ha! Oh man. My agility and stats increase. The geek! Okay, so now I gotta go this way. And then back. <laughs> Should be somewhere around here. Oh well, you know at the very, I'm, you know, fuck, I'm just gonna, fly, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fly to bath after I kill some more hornets and some leg eaters. We're gonna use fire. We're gonna, we're gonna use our magic, son. We're gonna rain holy hell upon them, and then Min Woo's is gonna mace a fucker. Oh, he ran away. Oh. Alright. 
We're gonna hire Sid to take us to Bath. Bath. I swear to God, you need like seven syllables to say that word. All right, we have to talk to the dude. The duder. Okay, we have to go to Bath. All right, I'll stop saying that. I'm sure like four or five of you already have my spit on your screen. Okay, to bask away! Ride, Captain, ride upon your mystery ship. Be amazed at the friends you're having on your trip. Okay. Alright, so this is bask. Or bath. You need a pass to get on the bread and on. Okay, cool. You're with the rebel scum. You've got to destroy the dreadnought. Okay, do I need items? I can sort my stuff. Um, potion, high potion. I don't really have any money anyway, so. Let's, besides, we'll just use fucking. We'll just use the awesomeness that is cure magic. Okay, that's a shrine. Okay. What are these? Oh! Oh my god, it's Borgin! Oh my god! Hey! Why does he look like a pirate? Are you a pirate? Pirates are in this year! <laughs> oh god, let's play a drinking game. Every time I make a joke to Scott, or every time I make a reference to Scott Pilgrim, graphic novel or movie, everyone just takes a drink. We'll be drunk by the, by the end of this playthrough. Back to work, mateys! Work, I say! If we finish even a day sooner, my glory will be not much greater! What a douche! They're making us work like slaves! I hate that fortune! It's weird though. I can't seem to remember what things were like when the Dark Knight was in command. You know, this guy has a lot of balls. He's a slave, and, this, and he's shit-talking his slave driver, who's less than four or five steps away from him. I gotta admit, that takes balls. General Bork doesn't seem to be willing to deal with the peasants as he should. Man, that sucks for them. Um... I checked the magic earlier, so we're pretty good. Alright, so we gotta find the way to get on this dreadnought thing. General Borgen took command of things in bathrooms. <laughs> a short one. Ask about the wild rose. Ah, so this is the this is the sleeper agent. Okay. Not the great Borgen is anything, but this is dominating the dreadnought. It's a back way leading to the dreadnought, be careful. Okay. Alright, so it looks like it's time for another dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. I can only hope that there are not rooms that have nothing in them this time. But, how much you want to bet, that's not going to be the case. Okay, so, um, let's see what we got here. Uh, magic. Uh, our stats are looking okay. And we don't really have to heal. Yeah. Alright, um... Alright! Into the dungeon! Ooh, this is epic. Alright. Oh, there's a treasure up there. Oh, look! It's the green goblin! No, don't run! Okay, there we go. Treasure chest! Oh my god! More leg eaters! Blizzard! Cool stuff, alright. Ooh, a longsword, even though I'm pretty sure I don't need that. Cool, that's a shittier version of the weapon I already got. Oh god, what is that? A queen bee? Oh, dude. You know what, we're gonna use fire, and then everyone else just melee attack. Fire! 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 The way you push! push. Or, however that song goes, it's the theme song to Kitchen Nightmares. Oh no, no, it's the theme song to Hell's Kitchen, excuse me. By the way, new Kitchen Nightmares starting this week. 
I'm pretty stoked. I don't know about you guys. They get they actually um they they recently had an episode of uh Kitchen Nightmares that actually took place in my hometown of Ventura, California. Woo! They went to the Greek on the harbor and they helped it out. Which is pretty cool because I live within spitting distance of that place and I can go visit it every time I do. I'm like, oh my god, Gordon Ramsay's been on this exact same freaking part of the harbor that I have. That's awesome! And then I and then I say, you fucking donkey! Like, I got a feeling that, like, long ago, um, I don't need that either. Okay. I used to have a longbow, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Do they have balloons down there? Do they float? Oh yes! They float! They float! <laughs> I love Stephen King. I'm pretty sure there's a treasure chest somewhere over here. Oh my god! Zombies! Fire! More zombies! Or vampire thorns and hornets. You know what? Wait a minute. Why the hell are- Okay, I can understand the zombies being in the dungeon, but why the fuck are the hornets in the dungeon? Don't they need fresh air to go- Oh, shit! I think it's a boss battle, so we're gonna heal up here. Okay. Yay, there's a helicopter outside my freaking door. That's awesome. You can hear that. I assume it's some kind of helicopter, some bullshit. Okay, boss battle! Oh, the Dark Knight. You're too late. The Dreadnought is complete! I've been working behind the scenes to see the project through to completion. End your resistance. Kneel before the Emperor. It is the only alternative left to you. By the way, I'm totally not Leon from the beginning of the game. What gives you that idea? We will meet again. God, I like Cecil more. I mean, at least he's a Dark Knight, yeah, but at least he wasn't a douche. Ha ha ha! Looks like you've come. I just realized Borgin kind of looks like Buggy the Clown from One Piece. Did he just do the Kefka laugh? He totally just did the Kefka laugh. Oh man, they just finished the Death Star. Now I know I might be um. I know I might be kind of questioning realism in a Final Fantasy game, but how the hell do they have all that technology in, like, in a medieval setting with, like, magic and monsters and, well, people, and like, I, I find it hard to believe that people still run around using magic and swords and throwing shit at one another, but they have the technology to build a flying battleship. Like, I don't know, it, it just, it just seems like people should be going around the world with guns at this point. Um, well, that sucked, and there wasn't even a boss battle. The pretty sure is nice, though. Well, we gotta go back to Fraulein Hilda. Oh, I can't use the teleport in the friggin' dungeon? What? Can I use the warp ability? I can't even use the warp ability! Oh well, I'll just fast forward through a bunch of this. There's a door here! Okay. So this is like a secret passageway? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this was the pass the guy was talking about. Oh yeah, I remember this now because, um... <laughs> I remember the second time I played through this game, uh, I actually... I actually did not grab the pass at this point in the game, and I got to the Dreadnought, and I was like, why the fuck can't I go on? And they said, oh, you, you need a pass to get on the Dreadnought. And then I and then I'm like, what? Where do I get the pass? And so I had to look up a walkthrough. And I'm like, where the hell's the pass? And it's like, it was in the same dungeon, derp. Ooh, garlic. Ooh, shiny. Oh my god, beam me up, Scotty. Okay, let's save the game. Okay. So, um, what do I do at this point? I'm gonna go back in town and I'm gonna do a little investigating. Dreadnought! 
You have to tell her that the dreadnought has been completed. She may know some way to stop it. Alright, so we're gonna go buy magic before I stop anything. Um, get one of those. Some. Yeah! And one of those. Okay! Because Fear and Basuna don't really do anything, honestly. Just get in. Like, why would they have Basuna in the first place? Just. Okay, so I shouldn't go down there, because last time I went down there, um, I got my ass handed to me by Monster. Okay, so we gotta go back and tell Fraulein Hilda about the dread about the Dreadnought. Get out of my way, Sonny! I gotta go tell Fraulein Hilda about the Death Star! Ich bin ein Spieling! You know what's sad is I've been German for two years and I'm not even sure if that like I know what that I'm like I know what that means, but it I don't know. I should be able to form a proper sentence in German, and it just, it seems like I can't. Okay. So we're gonna go back to Altair, and because I'm a lazy bastard, we're gonna take this, we're gonna take the airship! Can I interest you folks in some fine blah blah blahs? We're gonna go to Altair, and tell Fraulein Hilda! Dude, why the hell are they char- Oh my god, the fucking dreadnought. Oh god. We were attacked by the Dreadnought. Oh, that's depressing. Oh man. Kinda puts me in a shitty mood. Oh man. Ah, oh, oh, they destroyed the item shop! Well, the owner's okay at the very least. Oh, wait a minute, why is, there, uh, why is there another guy at the counter? Is he selling mithril weapons? Ha! <laughs> mithril axes, baby. Sell some items so I can actually get some cool stuff. Sell this shitty longbow I don't need. Bronze gloves. And blizzard tom. You think it'd be worth more than that? Okay, and then we buy the axe. Ha! Well, the good news is, um, I found the Mithril Axes. The bad news is, uh, everyone died. So, it's a, you know, a win, um, oh, it's a, you know, it's a, um, win-loss situation, you know, uh, equivalent exchange and all that good stuff. Okay, so. Ride, Captain, ride upon your mystery ship. Be amazed at the friends you're having on your quest! That's the airship song. Okay, so let's go tell her about the evils. Oh my god! Her town looks like it was fucked up. Oh man. Um, uh, by the way, I, um, I, I did every. I, I, guys, I, I did everything I could to. Um, okay. To ever build an airship, and the dreadnought's really nothing but a big airship. So I should go talk to Sid. Why wouldn't they bomb the hideout? Doesn't the friggin' doesn't the emperor and his evil demonic forces and his fucking legion of airships know that the rebel forces are in all terror at this point? Seeing as how I went there personally and killed one of their agents to steal Mithril. Oh, why was the building not? Do they just have such horrible aim that they didn't hit the riddle scum's forces? I don't know, that seems like either dumb luck or inconvenience. The hideout was safe. What? How was the hideout safe? Jesus Christ, the dreadnought must be the shittiest fucking thing ever if it can't destroy a single building. Many were wounded during the dreadnought's attack. I can just imagine him sitting in bed. Oh, what's going on? Heart <laughs> attack. I know that's that's not very nice to say. Aww. Yeah, Minwu, go heal his ass. All those who live must someday die. It is our fate. What a cheerful motherfucker. Still, it is my duty as a white, or a white wizard, excuse me, 
He's a white wizard. He's it's like white mage. <laughs> That's like a weenie title. I'm a white wizard, bitches. I'm Minwu the White. To ease the pain of those who suffer. So is he leaving the party? I shall remain here and devote myself to the care of the wounded. Oh, dude, no. What? You better. Oh, you better enjoy that fucking mithril equipment I got you, then, you asshole. Waste no time in destroying the dragon. Okay, Minwu, nice having you. Oh man. Okay. All right, what am I supposed to do? Ask about the demo. Many lives, however. Am I supposed to take that? Um, airship. No. Metro. No. Wild Rose. <laughs> okay, so that lady in the hallway told me you go to sit. All right. So I figure that's pretty good for this part. So we're gonna go outside and save the game. And then, that will be that! Oh man, the town looks like shit. That must have been Mardi Gras or something. Alright. So until next time, guys. Adios.